So I wanted to make a wind-up fan, <clears throat> and this is my first try. And with a lot of these pieces, after I printed them out and I put them together, I noticed like little errors, like this piece doesn't quite touch this one because I didn't leave enough space, so I added a bit there. And the gears were too rough because, you know, I got the gear drawings from somewhere, not the best source. So I went in and redrew the gear teeth. So uh, they're fixed on the drawing. And then, you know, on this outer frame, the pieces were too, a little bit too short. So the gears were a little too tight together. So I melted it with a candle and stretched it apart. Uh, and there's, there's just a lot, a lot of little details like that that I've already fixed. But this is just the first try with the, the you know, the parts just on the total first try, um, unedited or anything. And I was hoping that this would be able to go for about a minute just on the first rough parts. But it goes for like, two, well, the first time I timed it, it was 2.20, 2 minutes and 20. So it'll probably go for about two minutes now. It's been dropped by my kids a few times at this point. So it's a little bit beat up, um, but still totally working. So it's passing the durability test. Now, one of the problems I have is that I'm using skate bearings, which I wanted to use because other people would have them. I want, I want to, you know, I'll put this online, all the parts, so pe other people can print it out. But I wanted to, I wanted to use parts that people could easily find, and skate bearings would be great. Except I have really cheap, crappy skate bearings that have kind of a lot of resistance. And, you know, not not the not an amount of resistance that would be a problem if you were skating on them. But for something like this, that that is a really low power thing, the little bit of resistance in these bearings actually causes a problem. And I did pop off this little red cover to presumably take the grease out and put thinner oil in, but I popped it open. There was no grease or oil in there. It's just, just the plastic piece holding the balls caused a lot of friction. So I put some oil in there and that helped. But these bearings are definitely not ideal. I do have some other bearings. So on my second shot, well, I don't think I'm gonna use bearings on the second shot. On the second shot, I think I'm just gonna use steel rod right through the plastic and see how that goes. Because this, this, this won't have enough pressure or speed or anything to, to melt the plastic. And I have inside, between these two gears here is a spring, kind of like one of these. I have, I have three different kinds. They're seat belt return springs. And maybe on the second one, I'll try this one. This is, a, this is a stronger one than the other two. And I think if I use this one, I can increase the gear ratio to get double the number of revolutions per revolution of this. And if I can get some of the friction out, it'll still, it'll still work well. But you know, just on a first, first try, this went great. The, the ratcheting wind-up thing, perfect, excellent. Just the general shape of the frame is really good. The propeller is really good. Overall, mighty good. But yeah, a bunch of little tiny improvements I can do on the second try. So, oh, don't ask me for the, the plans for this yet. I want to perfect it before I, you know, give out all the 3D printer plans. <laughs>